Hi guys, my name is Bida and I'm from Hope Design Studio. Today I will give you a tutorial on how to make an illustrated packaging design using Canva. The first step of designing is reviewing the brief from our client and doing research. I recreate this project from my old one and at that time, my client wanted me to make a packaging design with some cute and fun illustration uh, with like organic and natural vibes that looks luxurious but not intimidating. Instead of the ingredients, she wanted me to make an illustration of where the ingredients came from. When I did my research about her company and her product, I found that the main ingredients come from the east part of Bali and there's a beautiful lake there, there's also hills and mountains and we agreed to use that on the design. Before starting to make a design, I always make a sketch. While I can do my sketch on my PC using my Wacom or on my iPad using Procreate, I prefer doing it the old way, on my book using a pencil. I don't know why, but by using pencil and paper, my idea is like flowing easily. When I started, work when I started working as a designer, I would directly go into my Photoshop without any planning at all and I ended up staring at the blank canvas for a very long time. It felt intimidating and it's also not an efficient way to do design work. Sketching is an important and an essential part of the design process, so I suggest you do not skip it. It is the first step and something that every designer should do. You don't have to be a good artist to sketch down your idea. All you need is a pen and a paper or any medium that you feel comfortable to work with. Sketching helps you to clarify your idea. It also helps you to explore your creativity. When starting your project with a sketch, you will not limit yourself with a single idea. You can explore multiple options. Don't only sketch what you think is beautiful or perfect, sketch every single idea that comes to your mind. Your sketch doesn't have to be good, in fact, they shouldn't be. Oftentimes, when I make sketches, it is only just like a blob or shapes or doodle or squiggles here and there. Sketching also helps you save time in your workflow. People always think that sketching doubles the time spent on a project, but it's really not. Sketching literally will save you a lot of time. Think of it as a roadmap or a guide. You don't want to open Canva and then staring at a blank canvas and then throw any element here and there, but then you don't like what you see on the screen and then you end up using ready-made templates. Hold on, I'm not against using template. I know that the templates are there to make your life easier. It's made for you to save you a lot of time. In fact, I'm styling template too. But if you want to make a packaging design, it's better to make it different and original. And if you want to sharpen your design skill, it's better to make your design from scratch. After sketching, I usually scan or take a picture of it using my phone and then sync it to my computer. If I work with Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop, I will start tracing it and make it into a real polished design. Because for now we're gonna using Canva, I will use my sketch as a reference and I will put my sketchbook beside my PC screen. If you want to make your color palette from sketch, Adobe Color is an excellent tool because it has a color wheel with color harmony rules. It can also make a color palette from pictures or gradients. 
I love their new accessibility feature because it can simulate how people with color blindness see our color palettes so we can choose the best color for them too. Coolers is also an amazing tool. It has the accessibility feature too. You can like generate an amazing color palette in seconds by only pressing the space bar. When generating the color palette, you can choose which one of the color harmony rules that you want to apply. There's also an explore page that showcases thousands of beautiful palettes. Regarding the typography, I always pick the typefaces manually. There's some rule to follow though, like using two or three fonts, use different weights or sizes to make a contrast between the title and the text, like to create a hierarchy, and then understanding font psychology, etc. I would make an Instagram post regarding typography, so make sure to follow my Instagram account at Hub Design Studio. Now that Canva is opened, on the first page, always make a style guide. We're going to put the color palette and the fonts that we want to use here on this page. So the color and the font will appear on the left side of the screen. Before designing, I will choose any shapes and lines and elements that we're going to use to make an illustration. For this project, think of the illustration as a compound of different shapes and lines. Place the chosen shapes and elements into a folder so we will easily find it later. Because we have made the sketch in advance, it's so much easier to choose what kind of shapes that we're going to use. For this design, I will make a mountain, a lake, and like hills with a cute looking tree and then something like a cloud. If you went to school in Indonesia, at some point, your teacher will teach you to make a mountain using two half circles or two triangles. And I'm going to make something like that, that everybody in here recognized. And then I will put the lake near that mountain.
put a rectangle here and then I will overlap it with a thin rectangle. I'm going to put text inside this rectangle. This thin outlines gives our design a luxurious vibe. Okay, the design is finished, don't forget to download it in PDF print, 300 dpi because we're going to print it later. To present the design to our client, I will make a mockup so that the client will know how the final product look. I usually download the mockup from freepick.com or freemockup.com but of course you can also use smart mockups that is integrated with Canva but unfortunately the custom customization of smart mockups is very limited. I hope you guys like this project as much as I do and see you again on the next tutorial. If you have some projects or any questions or you just want to have a chat about design stuff, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on Instagram at Hop Design Studio. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands frequently. Bye-bye!